Que paso, mi amigos y familia? What's up, my friends and family? It's Nate Burke Alter here in my house in Houston, Texas. And this Thanksgiving week, I wanted to take a moment just to share some things that I'm thankful for, but also give you guys some perspective. Now, I, I believe that perspective is very powerful. And as I share some of these stories that I have with a few mementos here that you see behind me, I want to say, first, I'm sorry. Yo hablo poquito español. So I'm going to talk in English porque yo no tengo um, largo vocabulary de parabolas. I don't have a large enough word base to talk in Spanish and share some of my stories. So forgive me for that. But what I want to share today is how some of the trials that I've experienced in life have led to trophies. Some of the valleys that I've gone through have, have brought me to mountaintop experiences. And I'd say without a trial or a test, you don't have any testimony. And when I have the perspective of some situations that I've gone through in life, and the ones I'll share today are more athletic-based and, and physical in nature, but we experience these across the board between our health, our relationships, our mindset, our emotions, the, the jobs or careers we're pursuing. There's all types of trials and ways that we have to push through and persevere and overcome something. So with that said, the perspective I've learned to have is if I'm going through something hard right now, like many of us have in 2020, then I can reflect back on a time when I've also experienced a trial or a hardship or something that was really tough to get through. And I, I couldn't see the end. I, I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But having the faith and the belief to continue moving forward and getting through that. When I did that, I realized that, hey, I can't overcome these obstacles that are set in my way. And God can give me strength to do this. And, and there's resources available to push through things that rise up in our lives and in my life. So with that, I also see that having that perspective gives me the belief that whatever is coming at me right now, I can get through it because I've gotten through it in the past. And it's, it's a spiritual matter for me because I believe anything that's happened to me in the past that I've gotten through, God gave me the strength. God gave me the resources and the ability to, to take care of me or to help me through it. And he never changes. So I know that if God was faithful in the past, he'll be faithful in the future. And I had these monuments behind me to remind me of the trial and then remind me of the trophy or the fruit or the reasons why it was worth it. And if I can think about perspectives in my life of other people who have experienced many, many more intense and deeper trials and hardships and death and struggles, you know, those that are emotional, those that are physical in nature, financial, family, all these reasons that people have a lot of hardship in their life and heartbreak and pain and, and reasons to even give up on life. I've seen many of those people, both in the United States and also in the places I've gone on missions in Africa and Asia, in Latin America. I've seen those people who had way worse situations happen to them that are way better than I am as far as good people. They still found ways to overcome that, to persevere, to keep moving forward. And, and many of the threads I have seen in that is they, they believe that God can and will work out a way for them to, to not only survive, but to thrive. And it taught me to be grateful for everything I have. And you can look behind me and say, well, Nate, it, it can be easy for you to be grateful right now because you have this trophy. You just won this TV show and you got money from that and you have more opportunity. But many of us have had the opposite happen to us in 2020. And I would say, you know, this is a, a recent success in my life where I've worked for many, many years behind the scenes. I've worked hard construction jobs and farming jobs and worked my way through college and spent four years working hard towards an engineering degree that now I have a diploma that gave me the new opportunity to pursue a career and, and working my way into that brought about new opportunities. But I had to work as an athlete for a, de a whole decade, 10 years. And had, had an early dream of playing American football stripped away from me by a really severe second and third degree burn on all of my legs that put me in the ICU intensive care unit for almost a month. I was in a wheelchair after that and then crutches and had to relearn to walk because it seized up a lot of my myofascia tissue and connective tissue that supports my muscles and joints. And going through that not only took away my athletic dream of playing football, but it it set me back from just living a normal physical life. 
and I, I almost got to a low point of wanting to be really, really, really frustrated and complaining about life and crying out to God, like, why, why me? Why does this have to happen to me? But then I saw people in that same burn center that had horrible burns to their face and their whole body, and they barely survived with their life, but they were horribly disfigured for the rest of their life. And it gave me the perspective to say, wow, I might have it somewhat bad right now, and for reference, second degree burns, doctors say that that's the most painful thing a human can experience, especially if it's on a large extent of your body. So I experienced a lot of pain, but I had the perspective of, wow, there's other people experiencing so much more pain than me. And I still have a lot to be grateful for. And I have a path towards recovery and, and normalcy in my life. And, and then eventually I did go back to normal. And four years later, I got to play flag football again and get back into that. And then I began doing obstacle course racing and eventually found my way into Ninja Warrior. And after three years of pushing and trying, I finally had a breakthrough, got accepted to the show and did well and beat one of the first rounds and, and had this mountaintop moment. But then soon after, made it to the national finals and had this disastrous injury, ruptured a bunch of ligaments in my ankle, was taken out, and I was on crutches, in a wheelchair, and in a walking boot for several months. And so that becomes relevant because soon after recovering to that, got back in, made it to Team Ninja Warrior, got to the national finals there, and then had my shoulder ripped out of socket by an injury on the course. And boom, out for the season. Had a lot of rehab and recovery and things that had to happen to recover there, but kept fighting, kept moving forward. And then several years later, had another significant injury to my ankle again, ruptured some more ligaments and tendons, set back and had it end, but kept fighting, kept persevering. Year number six in American Ninja Warrior, made it back to the national finals and beat the first round, which was a, a not only a huge achievement for me, but also a milestone within the community of being able to say, now I've moved into, I'd call it elite status of being able to stay that I've beaten one of the biggest rounds in the national finals. And I was so excited, but then immediately after came down with severe flu, malaria type symptoms. And I had just gotten back from a mission trip in Africa. Now I'm in the national finals in Las Vegas and I'm puking my guts up diarrhea, eight hours straight of that, feeling horrible, can't move, couldn't sleep, and now I find myself facing the next round of the national finals. But I decide I'm still gonna go at it. I've, I've come this far and I'm not gonna quit. So by some miracle, I make it on stage, battle through that, and end up beating that round of the national finals. And it's a reminder for me that if I don't give up in those hardships, if I don't say, you know what, I'm gonna let this beat me, if I keep persevering, something eventually will lead to a breakthrough. And so for six years of doing that on Ninja Warrior, I got a huge breakthrough, but I still experienced a, a big trial and something that set me back. The same thing happened to me on Exathlon. Had the blessing of being on this new TV show called Exathlon Estados Unidos. I was on season four, and we started in January of 2020. And ended up spending seven and a half months there, part of this TV show, where it's daily competition, very survivor themed, no cell phone, no TV, no books. Half of the time, we spent sleeping on a shack, a wooden shack floor with no air condition on a foam mat about that thick with bugs that can crawl through the walls. And, and did I mention no air condition? So hot, miserably hot with no pillows. And it was a struggle. We had pretty low quality food, just rice and beans, a lot of that time. And inside Exathlon, I experienced three season ending injuries. One, I partially tore my Achilles and had a strain there that almost took me out, but we got sent home due to COVID and being back in Houston for about a month and a half, I got to recover and rehab that. Came back on the show, end up almost breaking my neck. And this is a reminder here for me of wearing this neck brace for about three weeks, experiencing a significant, scary injury. And thank God I came through it by the grace of God, by many of your prayers, and was able to recover, get back on the show, mostly because the other, the blue team, all got COVID and they were out for about three weeks. And so it happened kind of the same time. So I got the, the free time to recover and come back on the show. And I keep this as a reminder, you'll, you'll see, 
blue signatures here on this side and red signatures here on this side so from my teammates and fellow competitors that give me either messages of encouragement or just reminders of how I got through something that was extremely scary. And I'll tell you the details of that story in another video. There's a lot that went on behind it. It's, it's amazing to hear the details and what will happen. But I'll stay focused on the theme of this perspective, trials, and trophies. So continuing to fight through, not giving up, not growing weary in doing something good or keeping the faith. Just staying faithful, staying consistent, keep trying, keep working. You know, when I came back from the neck injury in Exathlon, three days later, there it is. Tres mas dias, I fractured my foot. So I have to go back into a walking boot. I was effectively eliminated from the competition, but then by some miracle, made it back within 12 days, came back in, kept fighting, won the whole show, and many more incredible things have come from this. So my point is keep the perspective in the right place. Don't give up. Don't grow weary. Be thankful in all things, in all circumstances, in all situations. Be thankful in 2020, whether you've had an incredible year or whether you've had a hard year. Keep moving forward in your life. Let a trial become a testimony. In the valley, maintain the vision you had on the mountain. Keep moving forward. Hope you have a blessed week. Happy Thanksgiving from me and my family. And Dios te bendiga.